still I decided to take a walk back at home after doing some work projects, job, that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> and well, this is my city. This is Guadalajara. Guadalajara, Mexico. This is probably the most central part you can ever get. There are a couple of other parts like La Minerva or other cities around here. They aren't quite far. They're, you can actually get there walking. It might take a while, but it is totally doable. Uh, right now, I don't recall in the Saturday is happening this, but in the Sundays, I think from 6, 7 a.m. all the way to 12, 1 p.m. around, uh, there's like the, the roadway is actually going to be. Oh, sorry. Just going to see what was on my right. So basically, all this roadway is going to be free for bicycles. So you can see there. Uh, all of this is for just bicycles, skateboarding, that kind of stuff. But because the, this is one of the most used ones, you can still see cars in like a very limited space. And also, over there. I don't recall how long this is, but it's quite far. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, it's just quite far. I'd once try it, but it wasn't very, very good. So yeah, just taking a little walk. It's actually pretty chill today. Not exactly sure why. And probably because it's Sunday and a lot of people is like drunk or a lot of people is just going back home. Probably late is when things start to get interesting. But I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to see that. Anyway, let's keep moving. This thing was already in green, well, white. In this case. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so you can see here that it's a pretty chill... It's actually a pretty chill part. Uh, on the night, this part is actually goddamn fucking dangerous. Like. You don't want to be here when it's like past 9, 10 p.m. around that. But on the sunlight, all the way to like 8 p.m. probably. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. Since you can pretty much see a lot of stores, a lot of restaurants, uh, community stores, cars. Over there is when things get... Let's get there over there actually. Uh, my boss is actually going over there a couple more squares but not necessarily by a lot oh and sorry if I call them squares and it's like the exact measurement uh, that's how we call them in Spanish actually so yeah this is this is Pedro Moreno uh, one of the most popular ones this is where a lot of the tourism happens in Guadalajara there's a lot of lore parts like uh, tequila, as I mentioned before, La Minerva, Chapultepec. But this is probably where a lot of people will start. This is basically like Las Vegas from Guadalajara. Uh, we are nowhere near the level of nowhere near the level of Mexico City, for example. But it's still a pretty huge amount, as you might expect today, for because of the pandemic and that kind of shit. There's not a lot of people, but still there's a quite considerable number. Right now, because the vaccines are doing pretty well, we are essentially uh, opening a lot more stores. This part, for example, and I'm going to try to get... And I'm going to try to get the photos, sorry, I was taking the walk. <laughs> This part was absolutely close up. Like, if you were here, you were basically committing a crime. Right now, here, as you can see here, uh, it's actually open. There's quite a bit of people. Then it actually looks kind of nice. This is where a lot of my memories uh, from a couple of years ago happened. Uh, yeah, you can see here, Guadalajara. On the back, we have Miguel Hidalgo. 
piece of shit human. <laughs> a lot of background history not covered there. And we're going to take a walk like back because I didn't consider that it could be a pretty cool walk. It's only five minutes of video long. I thought it was already pretty, <laughs> pretty long, but no, not at all. So yeah, if any of you watching this is going to visit Mexico, that's not Mexico City, which is like the actual, 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 actual part of Mexico that a lot of people will be. Oh yeah, the only water. Be prepared to see a lot of that in this country. Oh uh, yeah, there's for example that, which is the touristic guide. I was once attempting to work there, but no, I don't think I have the level for that. And well, again, sorry for cutting off, walking and talking at the same time. It's actually not very easy. For me at least, I'm not very used to. But yeah, this is going to be the part where you are probably going to end up if you start traveling to other places. This is like the second most visited one, in my opinion. Yeah, this is actually art. According to someone, there's a lot of people attempting to work as statues, basically. Uh, there's also a lot of people selling handmade things. Uh, make me a cartoon, basically. For us Mexicans, these are not cheap. But that's the point. Because of the payments we have and that kind of things. It's actually quite expensive. But for a lot of people, this is like nothing. This is literally sense. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> if you want to be like a cartoon or something, you can go back there. Or in the front. This is where a lot of... Not exactly like the best part for that. But this is still like consider one of those. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, there's for example a Carl's Jr. Just let the umbrella... Let me see. Like, there's a Carl's Jr. A Pharmacia Guadalajara, which is basically a convenience store, mostly for medicines. You can still get like sodas and that kind of stuff. There's actually a couple of taco stores right there. Yeah, a lot of things not open here today. Let's check it out over here. Oh wow, there's a lot of people I probably can sell in that. But yeah, right here over here, there's a lot of tacos, there's a lot of lunches or I don't baguettes basically. A lot of traditional Mexican food is like in this store, in this part of this country. So I recommend you to check it out over here. It's actually not that bad. Oh, the video cut off, I think. <laughs> it's actually not that far from here. However, uh, I already want to show you something new. And I think that could be a very exciting thing to showcase and explain. Because there's actually a lot of background that can be used in T-Hawk's favor that he's actually Mexican. Uh, but that's, I think, for another video, shall we? <laughs> and as you can see, carousels are actually very popular here. Like, really, really popular. And yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of other than very dirty water. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny for me at least. Like, this is your most touristic area and you're showing this kind of stuff? Come on, dude. <laughs> Let's go over there because there's a couple more things to show over there. Uh, there's where a lot of people is going to walk. Right now we are in Lysia Street. Let's wait a couple for the red. Good. And for example, you can also take those buses that so you can take over here. I'm not exactly sure if you need to take a date or something beforehand. Uh, however, they are pretty good. You can take it off and they will show like a lot of places on, on this part of the country. Not exactly sure where and where because I never take one. I mean, I live here, so I have no point in doing that. But they are actually like very pretty cool way to showcase how the cities look like. And yeah, as you can see, it fits a lot of people. You can take a very nice look in on the upper side. So yeah. I have a lot of stories to tell about this bar actually. Uh, this 
is where I pass most of my life, talking with people, meeting, uh, doing a couple of video game stuff and that kind of things. I remember sitting over there quite frequently just to like sit, think a little, meditate, <laughs> you know. Oh, also that you should take consideration. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, this is normal. <laughs> yeah, but Mexican cities, like Mexico in general, is a very loud, very, very loud country. So you should take that in consideration. Uh, it's actually not that bad compared to other places or in the night, for example. But it's still something to consider. You are not really a person for that kind of things. It doesn't matter for me. At this point, I'm used to. But uh, <laughs> this part in particular in the night, which could be a good idea because it looks very different, but I really want to get home. Um, I didn't consider <laughs> recording a video until like I woke up and I was walking by like, hey, what if I didn't take my new camera from a new phone and just start recording and talking about how the country looks like. But yeah. <laughs> so right here, there's a couple more restaurants, ice cream stores, pizzas, pizzas, pizzas. <laughs> yeah, there's for clothes, clothes making, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it's mostly like very homemade stuff. These are not chains or anything, probably like one or two, but are like super exceptions to say the least. Uh, this is the second most frequent part in Mexico. Not exactly sure why, there's nothing to see here most of the time, but I guess there's something behind. Or probably because there's a train station over here. Probably about that. But yeah. This used to be a library, and I was able to visit it at some point. Uh, but yeah, they are making not very fun advices, so, you know, riots and that kind of thing. So yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Let's keep moving. Yeah, there's a Burger King over there. Uh, that's a department store. A child over there. Oh, there's also this part, which is a lot of practically crazy socialist people talking about presidents. Eh, don't even want to bother with them. Just ignore them. Just pass your way through. That's it. Yeah, this is also the part where a lot of people pass, pass through. This is actually a train station. I think it's the second most frequent here in Guadalajara. Not exactly sure. The first one is actually like a couple of, uh, probably one kilometer away from to the right, like actually over there, uh, which is called Juarez. But yeah, as you can see here, I was not lying in this aspect of very live, very loud cities. Very, very loud. There's a couple like that kind of chill. Then there's this. <laughs> and there's actually even worse than that. Yeah, in mostly in the night. So yeah, as you can see here, a lot of newspaper stores. Ooh, I should take a walk. There's also this part which is pretty famous at this point in Mexico. Uh, it's called Ricky Plaza, which... It's basically where a lot of uh, anime guys and that kind of stuff walk away. However, there's a lot of very infamous stories over there. There's a lot of very infamous stories over there. <laughs> if you ask any Mexican about the Freaky Plaza, they are going to take a lot of mixed opinions about it. But yeah, before getting to my way to my bus, uh, I think I can show you the arcades. I, mean, I have been frequently visiting quite a lot of uh, when I get to my job, that kind of things. Uh, which is right over here. You take a walk. Now, again, if the other cities were dangerous on the night, these are actually even worse. <laughs> these are really, really not frequent at all. Uh, but yeah. 
that's one of the reasons why I'm walking over here and not over there because yeah <laughs> but yeah this we are going to showcase my favorite crate and I'm not exactly sure if right now at these hours there's going to be people like in Saturdays right now it's like a good hour to take like a couple of good challenges in good old king of fires Mexicans by default Mexicans <laughs> Arcade game. By default, Mexican arcade game, essentially. But I'm not exactly sure on the Sundays. I never came out on Sunday, now that I think about it. I haven't visited these places in Sundays. Wow, a lot of Sundays in my life, in it. So, yeah, let's take a bit. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it cut off a little bit. I can see here there's really no one. Not playing Dr. Mario and Popular, though. Pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. But yeah. Oh well, yeah. The, there's also like a store for video games and like technology in general stuff, like cell phones, that kind of thing. But don't visit there. <laughs> they actually scam you pretty hard. <laughs> there's better places to do that. I just come here for the arcades. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. That's the place where my very infamous May Market cabinets happen, or the Squash Darius one. Yeah, that's the place where it's very fun to visit like every once in a while. Especially because I live very, very far away from here, like really far away. <laughs> Should not be here right now. But I'm taking a trip just to show you uh, very funny stuff. So yeah, this is Guadalajara. From here I'm just going to record. Oh my god, that was loud. I need to I need to edit that in the video. That's loud as hell. Either way. <laughs> right now from here and on there's nothing really to showcase. And there's really really nothing. But I'm still going to just just for the fact that I'm visiting the city. You know what, let's take a little soda, why not? Let's take, this is sock sauce. Not Mexicans, the fall community store. Where I went to take my good old Dr. Pepper. These are Mexican vessel prices, don't confuse it with dollars, please. It's not the first time that happens. Now give me a second, I pay this. So yeah. Grab a uh, cold Dr. Pepper Cherry and let's get back home. I haven't really drank this in like probably like three to four months. It's been a while actually. So I said, hey, why not today? It's like a good idea. Uh, there's like stores for a lot of miscellaneous stuff and pandas and you know, things. This is like very cheap food tacos, hot dogs, burgers, burgers stores not really anything amazing as I said before this is not really a very touristic area per se I mean you can see a lot of people but it's because this is where a lot of bus for various parts are actually like very frequent uh, pass through here for example Rio Nilo which is pretty far away the bus is like I think it's the exact same one that I don't, I don't know they changed the numbers recently and it's been kind of messy for my head to know which one is which so yeah, you can see here, uh, this I think it's a Christian temple, if not, please don't kill me. Um, religion here in Mexico is actually like, really something else. Like really, really something else. It's been, it's been different in the past years, or at least I've noticed. Uh, at least with people in my generation, I'm 21 years old for the one curious. And it's been lowering a lot. Like, you have no idea. I really don't know anyone from my age around that is like Christian or anything. Probably like one or two people, but they have the reasons. I respect that, but that's just a very curious thing to say, in my opinion. But yeah. 
Uh, sorry if the camera is a little bit funky to say the least. <laughs> but I'm trying my best in it. So yeah, let's get it. let's get back in the way home. It's a couple just so meters away. It's actually not that far right now. It's actually pretty chill. Like. Yesterday compared when I was walking to here because I need to walk in this area It was actually kind of easy Knowing the worst days, there's, way, there's days when I was not even able to walk But It's actually pretty chill when you are on the way back home And everything seems to be like in your favor when There's really no one, the traffic is very low and Yeah I think I left Sundays here for the same reason Or at least right now on the day I'm not entirely totally sure on the night because uh, I mostly work on Mondays, so I really have no chance to work to visit these kind of places on Sundays late nights. Might have a chance soon, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready for later. Oh yeah, uh, right now they are working in a new roadway for this part. This used to be like a very frequent. Uh, bus station. They change it a little bit like uh, like walking over there or something. I'm not sure, I haven't used that in a while. I don't really need it. Not that I don't even fucking know where is it. But yeah. And, uh, as you can see here, this is not a really touristic area or... I think it was at some point, but not anymore. Uh, for example, this used to be a very popular Chinese restaurant, but... I don't want to even talk about that. <laughs> uh, very popular chicken store. Not very bad. Not very bad. And yeah. This is my bus station. This is where I'm going to take my bus. I uh, have a one, one and a half hour trip. It's going to be exhausting. But yeah. Let's get out of here, basically. Thank you for checking this very quick and dirty video that I, I don't know, I might do a couple more. I think it's a pretty good idea. Anyway guys, thank you for joining. Peace out, this is Ryan Anso. Enjoy your day.